We're here with Truman Men's Soccer Head Coach Duke Cochran to go over the Bulldog Weekly Recap of the Truman Men's Soccer Program, to take a look back at the road trip last weekend, and to look ahead at this weekend's or this upcoming week's pair of matches. Uh, Coach, go ahead and talk about this last road trip through Oklahoma and Arkansas, a couple of MIAA matches. You earned a split on the road trip. Let's see. Uh, long trip. It was nice to get a charter bus. Uh, guys had... Uh a lot more space than they've had on all these other road trips. Um, uh, Friday night against Northeastern, though, um, you know, there's really no way around it. We played awful. Um, guys didn't show up, and that's you know, from everyone from the bench to the field, they just uh, they weren't up for it. And Northeastern's a very good team that uh, was looking to make a statement, and they made a big statement against our guys. And really, probably the best thing that happened was guys like. Felix Bruner and John Lee, two true freshmen, got some experience, and they played, you know, okay for first-year player, and got the feet wet, and that's pretty much the best thing that happened out of that game. All right, and then after Northeastern, you take the trip over to Searcy, Arkansas, to play Harding, yeah. an affiliate MIAA member. Talk about that match. Well, um, for our guys, you know, it was about how we respond after playing just dreadfully, um, and. You know, a lot of the guys got called out, um, and the resilience of the team showed to be very strong because uh, Harding was 2-2 two and two in region. You know, we were 2-1-1, one and one, and no matter what, we want to do well in conference. We want to be in the hunt for the conference tournament. So um, the guys started off very slow. Uh, it was really kind of uh, some of the stuff that was still going on from the Friday match had uh, trickled over in the first minute. And... Uh, just some poor defending and giving a ball away early. They were on the board in the first minute. But from there, I mean, kind of shocked the guys. And, you know, we made a couple changes, but the guys responded well. And, you know, we were all over them from there on. In, this, in the first half, we had some chances, just couldn't put it away. Second half, we pushed up a little higher on them and tried to put them under more pressure. And uh, the dam finally broke. And um, Andy Chapman. Got a goal off of uh, Will Hayes, and from there, you know, the offense really started to flow a little bit. So one went to two, and two went to three, and we saw the game out for a split on the weekend, which, uh, you know, worst case scenario, we'll take. Able to get some young guys some experience this weekend. Talk about what that does for the team and what that shows the upperclassmen of, you know, some good challenge coming off the bench and, you know, being able to hold that level of play. Yeah, you know, um, some players that played extremely well, I thought, um, weren't just some first-year players. Uh, Ian Abundis came in and played left back for us. Uh, uh, you know, we're dealing with a lot of different injuries right now, for whatever reason. You know, hamstrings, ankles, the typical soccer injuries. Um, so the depth has had to show, and some of the depth is in young players. And you know, it's never easy for say the third-year players, but. Um, when everything else is, is, is pretty much equal and things aren't really changing for some of these older players, you got to start looking for some of that fresh blood, get out there on the field and let them have a chance to show. And um, Felix Bruner, you know, he had the game winner uh, against Harding, which that's a, that's a huge thing for a young player. And, you know, credit to John Lee when he came in against Northeastern. He, he didn't put a foot wrong. You know, he did some really good things, but... Um, you know, I think the message is sent that there's some good competition for spaces and that um, we may be young, but we're deep. All right, take a little step out of MIAA play this week to take a take on a longtime rival in Rockhurst here at home on Wednesday yep. before traveling to Iowa Wesleyan uh, on Saturday afternoon. Yeah. What are you looking for out of the guys this week as you get a little break from MIAA play, but the competition level definitely still high? Um, just to, to pick up where we left off down at Harding, I think the guys... From down there, we're playing extremely well as we left the field. Um, and, you know, we're back home finally. You know, we've been on the road for eight of our nine games. And um, so the guys have done pretty well when you think of it in that, that regard. And, you know, Rockers, no matter how well they're doing or how well we're doing, it is a kind of a rivalry match. So um, I'm looking for our guys to come out and, you know, make a statement on our home field. You know, we've won one at home. We've only had one. Competition wasn't quite the Rockhurst level, but um, we really want to start to test ourselves and see if we can't beat teams that are ahead of us, teams that maybe have a better record or that um, we're not 
at the same level as far as the record goes. We're trying to make a statement to show that we are a contender, and if we're going to be one, we have to start playing well against these kind of teams. One last thing, taking a look at the MIAA standings, a little bit of separation. You've got Lindenwood, Fort A State, Northeastern State, and Truman, all with 10 or more points in that 10 to 13 range. Five matches left in the MIAA after this week. Yeah. Uh, what do you look forward to to kind of prepare as you get ready for those matches? I'm very excited that those last five will be at home. Uh, you know, we went on the road and got uh, three one and one record in, in conference play. If you'd asked me before the season if I would take that with our schedule, I would just because that's a, a good a good record. Like looking at the competition, um, looking to to pretty much solidify our home field as a place hard for any team to come in and battle. Uh, we need good fan support. We need guys to be just uh, on task because home matches against very good teams but with everything still to play for. And um, right now we need to give Lindenwood their first loss. Uh, we need some things to happen but uh, you know to control our own destiny we need to play well at home and get results. All right, the Bulldogs will host Rockhurst on Wednesday afternoon at 4 o'clock following the Truman women's match against Quincy at 2 before hitting the road to take on Iowa Wesleyan this Saturday at 2. Coach, thanks a lot. Thank you.